CNN harasses Trump voters screaming she's a Russian spy. Reporter gets screwed by Rebecca DeSirio, Politics U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. CNN is doing some stellar investigative reporting lately, like tracking down supporters of President Donald Trump and trying to tie them to Russians. <laughs> this is no joke. CNN reporter Drew Griffin went out to the home of a Trump supporter, Florine Goldfarb, and ambushed her right in front of her home. He accused her of colluding with the Russians on live TV as well. Uh, Florine wasn't going to play that game at all. CNN just won't give up on the bogus Trump colluded with Russia narrative. They are so desperate. They are tracking down Trump supporters so they can confront them about running a Facebook page which may or may not have been backed by these Russian bots or trolls. Give it a rest, CNN. Not content with wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the evidence, a free allegation that the Trump campaign worked with shadowy Russian entities to, to, uh, to the detriment of Hillary Clinton. Wow, really? The news network is now apparently stalking private citizens. Florine Gruen Goldfarb runs the Team Trump Broward County Facebook page, which CNN claims posted numerous times about events that were promoted and encouraged by the Russians. <laughs> As the Washington Free Beacon reports a Florida women woman uh, grew hostile with a CNN reporter who confronted her in a front yard about promoting a pro-Donald Trump event at the apparent behest of Russian trolls. Florine Gruen uh, Goldfarb runs the Facebook page for Team Trump Broward County and the group posted events that were promoted and encouraged by Russian trolls as part of its extensive election meddling operation according to reports. One event was a Florida Goes Trump flash mob. CNN reporter Drew Griffin approached Goldfarb in the yard of her home where she told, uh, where she told Griffin he was fake news <laughs> and part of the cover-up. That's right, Miss Goldfarb saw right through old Drew Griffin. She knew exactly what he was there for and that was to try and make a mountain out of what everyone else knows is a molehill. Sure, Special Counsel Robert Mueller indicted 13 trolls, which he should be embarrassed about, who accomplished zero when it came to the outcome of the election. That's even admitted to in the indictment, which says did not affect the outcome of the election. So why would Mueller waste taxpayer money? on indicting 13 trolls who are in Russia and will never be arrested because Mueller's got nothing. And that's what Mrs. Goldfarb knows too well, uh, knows too. Uh, it seems like it is CNN who is not understanding exactly what is going on as they go out and harass elderly women at their own homes. What kind of news organization is this that ambushes American citizens for no reason? Told by G uh, Griffin uh, that she was duped by this group, Goldfarb said they were not Russians. I don't go to the Russians. <laughs> that group was Russians, Griffin said. Give me a break, Goldfarb fires back. I have nothing to do with the Russians. Maybe you didn't know. Maybe you didn't know it, but you did, Griffin said. Oh, please, you're, you're talking like this. I don't want to have anything to do with you, Goldfarb said, adding that the people with her for the event supporting President Donald Trump were all real Trump supporters. She went on to call uh, Griffin's explanation BS. I don't believe uh, that. That's, uh, you know, bull crap, she said. Let, let's, let's just take a listen. CNN, a Florida woman who ran a Trump supporters page that unwittingly promoted a Russian coordinated event on Facebook, says she doesn't believe that she was influenced by Kremlin link trolls. <laughs> I've had people tell me that I was Russian, uh, Russian propaganda. Are you kidding me? 
But what part of it, and this is a cover-up, what, do you think that's they, not true, or what? Uh, They're desperate. The Russians, I don't care if they were uh, involved or not, That's that to me is the least important thing. But they were involved with you, did you guys know that? They weren't involved with us. That's, you know, just make sure that you report correctly, that, you know. But you guys were involved with being patriotic, right? Very, very patriotic, but not... Being patriotic was the group that contacted and helped organize some of these activities that you posted on your own Facebook account. Th those were legitimate. Those were Russians. They were not Russians. I don't go with the Russians. That Come group on, was Russians. I had nothing to do with the Russians. The well, groups, apparently you the, did. No. Maybe you didn't know it, but oh, you did. When you're talking like this, I don't want to have anything to do with you. Well, I'm talking what's Those what's people based on that the... were with me were all Trump supporters. Very, very much so. Okay? And all apparently following the direction of groups that were associated with Russians who were BS. actually infiltrated. BS. BS. But please, please report that. I don't believe that. That's bullshit. I know all the people that were with me, okay? They were at my meetings. They're all Trump supporters, okay? Mm -hmm. But did you realize that you guys were in communication electronically with with not Russians? Me, not me. I don't you know. were posting stuff on Hillary, the Facebook. Hillary Clinton was, and so was all her uh, bandits. Some of the Lula? stuff that you you were in charge of the Facebook account, right? You were posting and reposting almost word for word the information that was coming out of this <laughs> internet research agency no. in St. Petersburg. No. You don't believe that? you interview uh, Michael Moore what uh, 1.35 million views Wow fake news CNN harassing an elderly lady to try to make themselves look good and justify their propaganda hashtag journalism is dead tweeted dr. Hart DC right this ambush uh, journalism and accusing Americans of being Russians or in cahoots with the Russians is what happened in the McCarthy era, CNN is lucky that they ran into Miss Goldfarb and not some Trump supporter who might see reporter Drew Griffin's presence as unwanted and is standing on the lawn as trespassing. He's lucky he got out of there with just a verbal smackdown. Of course, everyone watching the interview sees him as a jack, you know what, and rightly so. I just showed uh, this to my guy who isn't on social media. He was uh, mortified that they would do this to an older woman ambush her too. He laughed his, his butt off at Hillary and her bandits tweeted BK. Yeah, you have to hand that to him. <laughs> Hillary and her bandits. <laughs> Oh yes, Hillary Clinton and her bandits. Why doesn't CNN take some time and do some investigating into Hillary and her bandits who sold 22% of our uranium stores to Russia? They're your Russian, there's your Russian collusion. Leave the good citizens like Miss Goldfarb alone. They are the heart of this country. How dare CNN and their crooked news network invade her privacy? CNN is fake news. This story proves it once and for all. But worse, they are intimidating voters on their own private property. And make no mistake, it's intentional. Absolutely. And this is like just such a joke. Why don't you investigate Michael Moore and tell him that why were you there at the protests that were run by the Russians? They were all there protesting on my video. I have them on, on the, a couple hours ago. CNN, uh, the video. Michael Moore was there. Why doesn't he harass Michael Moore? Do you know that you were there with the, uh, with the Russians? Like the Russians made you uh, come down and protest? I mean, and they were probably laughing their butts off at Michael Moore, that's for sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.